home of the National Football League, the National Hockey League, the National Basketball Association, and Major League Baseball. You're watching a Spinal King Sports presentation. The team leading in the Eastern Conference and the entire league and the team that has won six hockey games in a row and are seeking for a playoff spot. It's the final Saturday of the regular season. Today, these longtime foes will meet in Madison Square Garden, the Islanders and Rangers of New York. Here's the playoff picture of the Metropolitan Division. The Rangers are still leading with 110 points, while the Islanders are way behind with 89 points. Islanders goalie Ilya Sorokin will be netminding today. On Thursday, he saved 25 of 27 shots against the Columbus Blue Jackets. His numbers are plummeting a bit, but he's still a solid goalie. He'll match up against Igor Shosturkin. During the Rangers' visit on Long Island, they would lose to their rivals 4-2. He allowed 3 of 28 shots by the Islanders. The final was an empty netter. Frederick Liquier and John McIsaac are the referees, and the linesmen, Ryan Daisy and Brendan Garlitz. Hi everybody, we are in Midtown Manhattan in the world's most famous arena, and it is rocking here tonight for EA Sports. Centers are lined up, official ready to drop the puck. The Rangers win the draw and they'll start on the attack. Fox has got the puck. Takes the puck. Stupendous blocker save by Sorokin. The Islanders have it against the wall. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Moves it to Paul Mary. And he stops that kid in there. Wow. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Blocked in front. Quick feed to Roslovic. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. The Islanders take it across the line. Big hit and that frees up possession. Quick pass to Nelson. Oh, gets a cracker on that one as he just got enough of it. Into the offensive end now. Here's a short pass to Kreider. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Panarin's great at finding his teammates with passes nobody expects him to make, guys. His third-eye zone ability and his high hockey IQ allows him to make plays that nobody sees coming. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. The Rangers gain control of the puck against the wall. Sends it into the offensive zone. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Pokes it away in his own end. Pellix moving the puck through his own zone. Across the line. Shot! Way too much congestion blocks that. And that pass is redirected. Takes that pass back at the point. With the tip in front, scores! And look at that wave, hang on a second here. I do not think that this is going to count. The official waved it off immediately. Oh boy. Well, they obviously didn't like the call, but not a lot of time to dwell on it as we are ready to get play back underway. Sizikis wins the draw at center. Moves it quickly over to Fashing. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. From behind the net, looks to break out. Now he slides it up to Cooley. The Islanders look to start the transition game. Takes the feed from the left side. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Fashing. Quick shot! Pad saved by Shesterkin. 
He's got a gift to read and anticipate the play, and when he drops into that butterfly position, not only is he as big as possible and covers the top half, but he's agile enough to slide across to cover the lower half. Cup grab by Pullock. And he takes the pass. Takes the shot. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Scooped up along the wall by Rempe. Dishes it to Jones. Into the attacking end. Through center along the wing. A chance in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Shesterkin's got great mobility, even when he's down in the butterfly position, guys. He can track and react to the play as needed while covering most of the net, and that's his butterfly effect zone ability. Puck picked up by Miller. The Rangers cross the line and gain the zone. Oh, and he just puts a wide in there. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas. They try and get a little too cute, and that's a result right there, not hitting the net. Moves it to Ajo. Gets it over to Clutterbuck. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. The Islanders have it from their own end. Grabbed along the boards by Riley. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And he's knocked off the puck there. Puck scooped up by Clutterbuck. And now it's over to Horvat. Great reach with the poke check. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Made the stop on that play. The Islanders take possession off the faceoff. Lays out to block the shot. Oh, what a stop by Shesterkin. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Still lots of time left in the period. The game is still scoreless. Sabinajad's gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Steps in front of that one. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Handles the puck. Cutting to the front of the net. And that goes off a player. The Islanders will play it in their own end. And now he angles it across to pull off. Shot. Stones him with the blocker. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. And with the delay penalty called, they get the extra attack around here on the ice. And he denied him there. Oh, there's one more. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Running the interference plays as part of the game, but you can't impede the forward progress of your opponent. That's a two minutes interference call. The Rangers get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. For the scoreless game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Handles the pass. And now he moves it to Pajo. And that one's picked off. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that pass attempt is deflected. Oh, that save! Tremendous agility there by Sorokin! Sazikas is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. Trocek's won the draw. Just wide! Looking to get it out, 
And they clear the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Gustafson. With possession along the wall. Quick feed to Kreider. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Riley. Puck dumped in. The Rangers gain control of the puck. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Forces the turnover. The Rangers get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Trocek's going to play it against the half wall. Denies him! Quick pass to Panarin. Makes a save. And that's knocked away by Dobson. The Islanders will play it from the defensive zone. And they manage to clear it. The Rangers gain possession along the wall. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. The Islanders will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Gets it out of his own end. Slick feed. 10 seconds on the clock. Barzell's penalty is almost expired. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Rangers get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, the game is so intense and competitive, sometimes you can get way too aggressive along the boards. Not minor, it's going to be a boarding call. and you know he'll be looking to use his zone ability to help the team score here, guys. Let's see how things play out. The Islanders win it in the defensive zone. Great reach by Wenberg. And he takes the dish. Along the half wall with the puck. Solid check to slow him down. Fox has got it into offensive territory. And he makes the save. Here's a short pass to Capo. Carries the puck back inside his own end. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Beat the goaltender, but couldn't beat the post. So frustrating when you don't get the bounces and you just miss as that one goes off the pipe. You gotta wonder, if you get the opening goal, the momentum's all in your favor. Moves it quickly over to Capo. And the puck pops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to regroup. Trying to clear the zone. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. And it was ready for that one. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Paul Mary. Moves it to Pasho. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Colton has spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. And it's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. The Rangers pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Power play has expired. James, the PK was a specialty team that I actually played on and the good aggressive habits there and it leads to the kill. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Taken along the wall by the Frenier. The Rangers are in transition. Quick feed to Kreider. From the point, they take control of it. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Past the midway mark in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Sabinejad's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And a strong effort on that play. Gets the puck in deep. The Rangers have it now. Quick pass to Kreider. The Rangers have it now. Moves the puck to Roslovic. And now it's grabbed by Barzell. Shot! And he's got that one. And he takes the feed. Across the line, down the left wall. Great reach with the poke check by Pulak. Here's a short pass to Martin. Fires it! And that's blocked from someone in front. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Poked away in the offensive end. And the puck's knocked loose. And that's intercepted by Holmstrom. And that's knocked away. 
The Islanders take possession in the neutral zone. Pulak's got it along the wing. Sends it out front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. And he takes the feed. Fires it on net. Too much traffic in the lane. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Works it across to McLean. Takes the shot. Makes the save. Here he is on the back end. Big stop by the keeper. Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. Puts it on net. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. Moves it quickly over to McLean. Takes a shot. That goes wide. The Rangers gain possession. Scooped up along the wall by the Frenier. Moves it to Thompson. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We've still got zeros on the board. The Islanders win that offensive zone faceoff. The Rangers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Cooley. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Now you can see the coach looks skyward on that third call of the period. They know that they got to get back to even strength and get some kind of offense generating. The Rangers once again send out their power play unit. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Riley stick handling in his own zone. The Islanders get a hold of the puck under man. And the puck clears the zone. Winberg's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Sorokin. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Moves it to Riley. Rocks him on the play. Dumps the puck in. Slides the puck over. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Into the offensive zone. That knocks him off the puck. Pass across to Kako. Moves into the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Grabbed along the board by Zabinijad. Quick pass to Fox. Tries it to the crease. All sorts of pressure trying to get it out. And they get the puck out and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. Oh, to nice Well, the coach is going to like this goal. It's all about the effort and habits, not turning away from the net after the original shot, James, but continuing to track it and able to deposit in the net. The Rangers finally break through here in period number one. Well, it's so important to drop one. It gives you confidence to recognize, hey, we can score on this goaltender, and you take that energy and you head to the dressing room for intermission. You get some much-needed rest, and you got to come out flying in the second. Here's a short pass to Trocek. Moves the puck. Moves it quickly over to Fox. Receives the pass. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. The Rangers have been rewarded with the lead here late in this first period with all the shots they put on net. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. Here in the later stages of this period, the Rangers lead it 1-0. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Lee's got it against the boards. The Rangers gain control of it. 
Passes ahead from the right side. Penalty coming up. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Oh, you can see the frustration and the body language in him right now. That's the second penalty he's taken this period, James. I love the 1 3 1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. Moves the puck along the half wall. Moves it to the middle, and it goes off a stick and off target. And the puck clears the zone. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Moves it to Roslovic. The Islanders gain possession of the defensive zone. Still has possession. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Sends a pass over. Takes it into the slot. Oh, a clutch save! What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Here's a chance shorthanded to get it out of danger. And a successful clearing attempt. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Sabinijan swooping in on the attack. And that's off a stick. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Puck clears the zone. Oh, and a board rattling hit right there. Well, uh, certainly was lined up perfectly, body exactly. on body, weight distributed right in there. Well, if they're going to do something with this man advantage, now's the time. They don't have the luxury of time, James. They have to be urgent and get the puck up ice. The Rangers gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Great pressure with the stick. Quick feed to Fashing. Pulak's got it in the defensive end. Quick pass to Ajo. The Rangers gain control of the puck against the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Trocek's lugging the puck. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. the feed. And that doesn't reach the net. Down the left wing. They came the zone. Puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to do it over from center. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. The Rangers lead it here late in this first period. And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. Hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Well, there's the horn ending period number one, but this one is far from over. Lots more action to go. Second period is just around the corner. You're watching Spino King, NHL Saturday. Spino King NHL Saturday is presented by NHL 24 by EA Sports, available for the PlayStation and Xbox, rated E10 for ages 10 and up. By 7-Eleven, take it to 11. Inspired by the NHL on Fox, same game with a new attitude from 1995 to 1999. The Rangers are on the board against their rivals from Long Island, we're ready for the second period, and here are the stats so far. Rangers are up by 6 total shots, Islanders are up by 14 hits, Rangers have won 11 face-offs and are 1 for 4 in power plays, and have spended 7 power play minutes. A clean sheet of ice beckons and period number 2 set to get underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped, let's go. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Rangers are being rewarded for getting pucks and funneling them through to the net, James. They're not on the perimeter. They're looking to attack. 
Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Here's a shot. Stop. And they run it back with another. Yeah, back to back goal. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tide tech turns here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in. The Rangers have extended the lead to two goals here in the second, and at this rate, Cheryl, I don't think they're stopping. Well, no, because, I mean, they've been good in all three zones, haven't they? I mean, you're watching their goaltender just put on a clinic, and then their offense gets to work. They're dominating in terms of shots, and they're finding a way to put it in the back of the net. Hard to get the puck off their stick. Takes a blast! What a stop right there! That's a great save as he drops into the butterfly. You want to make sure that you take away the top of the net, but you know you got the lower net covered, and the agility to be able to move across the crease is an example right there. Denied that one. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Shot, glove save. Shesterkin's going to keep and hang on for the whistle and just slow it down a little bit here. As a goaltender, you always have to be mentally focused and ready to make a save, James. He hasn't been busy this period, but they're in the lead, so it's a safe play he elects to hold on. The Rangers start with the puck in their own end. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. From off the wall and onto a stick. Here's a chance! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Kellick's able to ruin his opponent's attack plan by using his stick to make defensive plays in his own end, guys. His stick em up zone ability means he can poke check effectively and play solid D. Picked up along the boards by Gustafson. Sends the pass over. Dumps it in. The Rangers have it against the wall. Passes over to Lafreniere. The Rangers looking against the half wall. What a steal in his own end. Takes the pass. Shot. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Lots of time left in this period. The Rangers lead this one to zip. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. The Rangers have put a lot of pucks on net and they continue to lead here early in the second. The Islanders win the faceoff. Blocked in traffic. Schneider's got it along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Romanov. Slides it diagonally to Fashing. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. On man rush. Here's a short pass to Winberg. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Takes the feed. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Rangers carry it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Pacho. Dumps it into the O-zone. And the puck's booted away. Moves it to Fox. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Through center. Tries to feed it over to Paul Mary. Huge steal in his own end. Poked away at center by Romanov. Looking to set up offensively. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Launches him into the boards. The Islanders gain control of the puck. On the attack along the boards. Picked off by Zabinijad. Taken by Roslovic. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Ajo's hauled down, penalty on the way. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Let's get the official decision. 
You have to constantly remind yourself to move your feet and get closer to the action. You wind up reaching, you take the feet out of your opponent, and you wind up with a tripping call. The Islanders will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Centering feed! Picked off in front. Angles it over to Lee. Takes the puck at the point. Quick shot! Denies him in close. This shot's come from the middle of the ice and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position and he makes the save. Fearless, totally fearless on the block. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Moves it around along the half wall. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Came up with the save on that play. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. And he can't hang on after that hit. And that's poked away by Schneider. Cutting to the slot. And that goes off a player in front. The Rangers have possession shorthanded. Smart defensive play there. Quick feed to Pasho. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Sabinejad's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Offense is on face-off and he wins the draw. Here he is, shot right in front. Dismissed that chance. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. Jones is going off for two minutes. The Islanders have a brief five-on-three looming. A short five-on-three, James. you got to win this face-off. Possession is key. If it goes 200 feet the other way, you've just killed your opportunity. Here he is from the slot, and that goes off course wide. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Quick shot. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. Oh, spectacular save on the play. Puck moved back to center, forcing him to regroup. Tries to get it to Barzell. Puck grabbed by Paul Mary. Takes a shot. Oh, looked like he had the corner, but he puts it off the side of the net. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. The Islanders have it now. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Here's a new trivia question. Since the Islanders' inaugural season in 1972, during their rivalry with the New York Rangers, how many contests, including playoff games, have these teams won? Answer is coming up after this. Winberg's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Steps into the offensive end. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. The Rangers move the puck in the defensive zone. And they clear that puck. The Islanders gain possession. Lee's picking up steam. Shot! And that was stopped. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Oh, and a nice job getting the puck out of the zone. Uh, first, you got to get it. So the PK unit does a great job reading where that puck is going to be able to retrieve it. Then you got to get it down the ice, recognizing the glass is the best option. Perfectly executed. Here's a chance. And that's stopped. Side still short-handed here as they slide in for the face-off. 
Jones is about to get out of the box. The Islanders have it in the offensive zone. And they get that puck down the ice. The Rangers get back to even strength as the penalty killing unit delivers. Well, everyone is up. The coach knows exactly what the PK unit had to do, and they got out there, they were responsible, and they took care of business. And he shut the door on that last play. Up along the wing. Sends it in deep. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Horvath's taking it from his own end. Quick pass to Paul Mary. Shot! Comes up with the stop. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark, and it's a 2-0 hockey game. The Islanders win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. The Islanders have had a lot of good looks offensively, but they still trail in the second. The Rangers win the draw. Here's a short pass to Lafreniere. The Rangers have it from their own end. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. The Rangers gain control of the puck. Taken along the wall by Lafreniere. Quick pass across to Panarin. And he takes the pass. Scooped up along the wall by Ruido. Works it across to Trocek. The Rangers move it ahead. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Well, he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. Good heads up play with the bank pass. The Rangers take it along the wing. They've got the defense at number. Foley with the stop. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. More than half the period has expired. 2-0 is the score. Sabinijad's won the draw and they're on the attack. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Misses over the net. You gotta get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area and you don't even get a shot on that, not good enough. And this squad has really put the pressure on now. Takes position. Heads it over to Sabinajad. And that misses. Oh, and there's a hit on the play. The Islanders played along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Schneider. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Moves it to Rostovic. Solid body contact. Trying to gain a step, all alone! Great save! Quick feed to Thompson. And that's just wide of the net. I'm sure he'll want that one back. Well, he certainly will, James, but not a lot of room out there. Trying to get it off quickly, and as a result, just misses. Quick pass to Wenberg. The Islanders have it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Pellet. Roslovic's been slashed, penalty coming up. Fires one on goal. Glove save and the play continues. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Here's the official call. They gotta put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. The frustrating calls, no question about it. But they gotta figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. The Rangers send their men advantage unit out once more. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and man, is it working tonight. And here's a pass for Horvath. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Fox has got the puck in his own zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Moves it quickly over to Kreider. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Steps inside. Sends the pass in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Fires it. Didn't get all of it, but just got enough of it with the trapper. 
Hard hit, frees up the puck. Fires it on net. Oh, wow, what a pass saved by Shesterkin. And let's continue with the trivia. During their rivalry with the Rangers, how many contests have these teams won? And here are the results. This includes playoff games. The two clubs have met 331 times. The Rangers lead in the rivalry with 137 wins, 126 losses, and 10 overtime losses. The Islanders' record is 136, 129 with 8 OTLs. But they do lead the Rangers in playoff meetings. Both teams are tied with 19 games overall. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. The Rangers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Loses his balance on the play. The Islanders will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Slides the puck to Sisikis. That's a solid check on the play. Moves it to Lafreniere. Pushes it across to Roslevic. Handles the puck. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Sorokin. The goaltenders have the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Pajot's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. The Rangers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. The Islanders will kill off a few extra seconds now. That's moved up ahead. The Rangers scoop it up along the boards. Consider the win for the penalty killers as the power play fails to execute. Well, that's a great job by the PK all the way from the entry, even once the power play unit got in. The ability to read the ice and know exactly where you want to go and where to pressure, that takes some skill. It's not just the power play that has it. Trust me, I know. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Here comes the call. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. they got to find a way to play even strength. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James, just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the place is to attack is. And now it's to Horvath. The Islanders take it along the wall. The Rangers take possession in the defensive end. The Islanders get a hold of the puck under man. Pinned up along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Panarin. Gets in front of it. Right on the doorstep. Puck picked up by Horvath. And he hangs on to the puck. Gets the puck in deep. Stretches one out to Panarin. Nice zone entry on the left side. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Offside the call. We'll get a reset. Pachos recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Winberg's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Jabs the puck away. Scrum ensues along the boards. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Picked off by Paul Mary. He's got a little jump. He's clear. Denied on the breakaway. Oh, he came up clutch there. Well, he really did. Uh, anytime that you're one on one, you got to beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. The Rangers come up with the defensive zone draw. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Puck scooped up by Roslevic. Chase in front. Scores! And there's another power play goal. Wow. Well, practice makes perfect. And you know that they've been working on this in practice. They've got the right personnel, the coaching staff. They showed them video of how they want it executed. 
executed, and they deliver tonight. The Rangers are laying the smack down on the opposition tonight as we near the intermission, but ooh, it can't come soon enough at one end of the ice. Well, yeah, you know that their opponent certainly wants it, uh, an opportunity to reset and catch their breath. But for them, you know that they're going to go to that intermission. Now they're going to sit down, get out of rhythm. They don't want it disrupted. So you know that the leadership groups can be talking about keeping the pedal to the metal. Here they come on the attack. Centering feed. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Here's a shot, and he keeps that one out. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Trocek's moving the puck through his own zone. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. Being down by a bunch of goals, and then you get running around with frustration and out of control, and that's the reason why you took a penalty. once again send out their power play unit. Power play scored earlier tonight and that gives you so much confidence heading into this one. You know how you executed the first time. They'll look, be looking for those same openings. The Islanders will play it in their own end. Quick feed to Kako. Handles the pass. Quick pass to Kako. Puts it on net. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Sikas gets set for the face-off here as they will continue to play shorthanded. The Islanders win the draw on their own end. Slides it diagonally to Sikas. And they'll dump it in. The Rangers gain possession along the wall. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Made the stop on the play. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. And now he tries to get it across to Sizikis. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Tries to feed it over to Clutterbuck. And that goes off a body. Slides the puck across to Fox. Saucers it tape to tape. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Tangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Picked up along the boards by Kako. Takes a shot. Left side save. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. And that's intercepted by Peugeot. He carries the puck up along the wing. Here's a shot. Oh, what a net. Big stop right there. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. He's the one to lead the comeback here. He's the captain of this team with an offensive zone faceoff. No better way to create some momentum than get one on the board. Slick feed. And he takes the dish. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, the officials didn't like that. The arms are in the air. Let's see what the official says here. You can almost hear the size on the bench as that third penalty within the frame has been called here, James. A tough position as they can't get any rhythm going on their bench. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Trocek's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. And he loses control of the puck. Here's a chance. Oh, puts and he hangs on just as time runs out.
Parzell's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. There's the horn, 40 minutes in the books. We'll get a refresh for both the players. Ice, back with a third period next. Welcome back to the Big Apple. The Rangers are on a roll today. They're likely to shut out the Islanders. This is the final period of the contest. And a look at the statistics. Islanders are now leading in total shots and are still leading in hits. They're now two face-off wins over the Rangers. The Rangers are two for seven in power plays and have spended 10 power play minutes over the Islanders. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. The Islanders go right back at it on the power play here and win the draw to start the frame. The Rangers gain possession of the defensive zone. They move the puck out of harm's way. Can't get a hold of that pass. Makes a move in front. They score! and they put it away. The Rangers continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. And that's off target as it hits a body. Nice job to escape the zone. There's a shot. Turns it aside with the glove. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Well, you're down a bunch of goals here, James, and really you take a penalty because you're chasing the game and you want to get back into it, but this one, this one's a tough one to take. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Four-on-four, four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Picked up along the wall by Barzell. And now it's grabbed by Schneider. Here's a short pass to Trocek. The Islanders have it now. And he makes the save. Well, he's showing great mobility here as he drops into the butterfly and moves across his crease with ease to make the save. Romanov's got the puck and he's walking the blue line. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Jones. The Rangers gain possession. Drills them. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And they continue to apply pressure here. Stayed by the goaltender who stayed with it on the redirect. Angles it over to Romanov. Paco's had the puck on his stick for a great portion of this game so far, James. He's creating, he's had a multi-point night and it's not done yet. Find some space in the corner. Quick pass across to Horvat. Throws it in. The Rangers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Roslovic. Centering feed. And that's off target. And he was ready for that save. Moves it to Sabinishad. Shot. Stopped by the goaltender. And he takes the feed. For the comfortable lead, James, some would say that that power play really wasn't a big deal. But I would say different. It's really important that you push, you continue to work on your habits because the timing could be different next time. We're still in the early stages of this period. It's 4-0. This has been a one-sided affair right from the get-go. And he's ridden off the puck. And he takes a shot. And he turned that one aside. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. The Islanders win the draw here in their own end. 
Quick feed to Riley. The Islanders will play it from the defensive zone. Carries it in. Here's a chance, and that goes wide. Coaches often measure scoring chances, and he does a real good job to get to that spot, but he will be disappointed. It's so difficult to get to, you want to convert when you get there. Battle along the boards. The Rangers have it now. Quick pass to Trocek. Takes a hit on the play. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Lafreniere stick handling in his own zone. The Islanders gain control of the puck. Panarin's carrying it ahead. Grabs control of it at the point. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. And that's knocked away. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Here's a short pass to Big Todd save. Oh my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Nice job tying up his opponent. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Oh, what a stick save! To Sirkin, styled in and able to redirect that puck to the corner. And he's going to pounce on it for the whistle and get a stoppage in play and much needed at that. I can't overstate how timely important that this cover is, James. When you're on your heels and you're chasing the game, you need a reset button. Goaltender allows it to happen. The Islanders win it. Love save made by Shusterkin. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Here's the Rangers scoring summary. Former Kraken Alex Wenberg made a power play goal in the four-minute mark in the first period. Two Rangers scored in the second period. Jack Roslovic, 23 seconds in. And Capo Caco at the three-minute mark. His was also a power play goal. Barkley Goodrow has just put the final nail on the coffin, which could shut out the Islanders for good. The Islanders' enemy is starting to become the clock as they still trail here in the third, despite several scoring chances. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he takes the feed. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Schneider's got it in the defensive end. Takes the knock, but he's still got the puck. Feeds the puck across to Gustafson. Makes his presence known on the ice. Slides the puck over. Shot! Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Jones has it in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Capo. The Islanders have it behind the cage. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Works it across to McLean. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Great poke check on the reach. Moves it to Holstrom. Gains the zone through center. Dances around the defender, look out! And that was a good heads up read to make that save. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Take it along the wall by Lee. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Quick feed to Marcel. What a steal in his own end. Jones takes it along the wing. Quick pass to Holmstrom. Lee's got it in the defensive zone. Feeds it to Holmstrom. Pokes the puck away. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Gaining steam here on the attack. Quick shot. Oh, what a stop by Shesterkin. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. The Islanders have it against the wall. Ajo's lugging the puck. From off the boards, he sends it into the open ice. 
Shesterkin's got the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow things down. Well, he's been shelled, hasn't he, James? He's weathered every storm that's been thrown at him, and now he elects to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well, and he holds on for the whistle. Horvat's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Let's it go. Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. Lafreniere's gained the line and on the attack. The Rangers played along the boards. Let's it fly. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Taken by Palmieri. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Moves the puck. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. The Islanders have had more chances offensively, but they have not been able to convert trailing here in this third. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Too much congestion in front. Oh, he's saved him. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The Rangers came out with jump, and they have been non-stop right from the start, leading 4-0. Slides it diagonally to Lafreniere. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. There's the collision, and look who's hit again. Well, he's been a punching bag tonight, James. He's going to have to find a way to get out of the way. Great reach with the stick by Lafreniere. From the neutral zone, moving forward here along the boards. Martin's got the puck. Here's a pass to the middle. Oh, he comes up on a stop. Here's a short pass to Lafreniere. The Serkins really impressed me tonight, James. Just look at that last sequence and that desperation save. Unbelievable. He when it's required to be calm and poised, he's got quiet feet. But when he needs to move and make a desperation play, he does it. Takes a shot. And that's broken up. The Rangers move the puck in the defensive zone. Feeds it on over to Wenberg. Scooped up along the wall by Cooley. Slides the puck down low. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Along the wing up the neutral zone. The Rangers take possession in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Gustafson. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Sends it in on the attack. The Rangers have layered well today and really protected their goaltender and seen everything. They're so close to the shutout. Yes, it's a superstition, but this team has played so well defensively. It's not just a goaltender stat, it's a team stat. Here he is in front. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Sends it to the middle. Moves it again. Another pass. Scores! What a finish on the play! Well, the goal scorer is going to get the credit, but how about the beautiful saucer pass? What an incredible feat, and he does a great job of corralling it and putting it away. The Islanders don't really have time on their side here, but at least they've got something to push with. Yeah, really tough hole to climb out of, but certainly that one goal will give them a little bit of a lift. It's respectable. The Rangers win the draw. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. Fashing's going to play it against the half wall. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Jones plays it now. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. Moves it to Palmieri. Shot! And it banks off a stick in traffic. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. So Serkin's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Sends it over to Palmieri. Shot! 
sails over the net. Hard to believe he misses again, James. He's been all around the net all night long. Just hasn't been able to convert, but in order to convert, you gotta hit the net. Tries to get it over to Fox. Sabinajad's taking it from his own end. Change up, change up. Fires it! Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. The Islanders need to find a way to break on through here. They've had plenty of shots on net, but they've got to convert here in order to even things up. Puck grab by Pellet. Receives the pass. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Sends a pass over. The Islanders going to work on offense. Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, it's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. pellick has got the puck in his own zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. The Islanders missed the net on that one, but they've had a lot of opportunities in this game, and they've been equal to their opponent, equal to the task, but just not equal on the scoreboard. Quick feed to Marcel. And that's poked away. Quick pass to Riley. The Rangers scoop it up along the boards. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Who had the edge? Carlin's standing by with the answer. Panarin's worked hard, and even though he hasn't been rewarded for his efforts, I've still liked his game, and I think he's had the edge in our matchup tonight. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes it across the blue line. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Grabbed along the board by the Frenier. Takes a shot, and the traffic neutralizes that threat. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Getting into the later stages of this period. A lot of offense in this one, mostly from one side. We've got 4 1 the score. The Islanders take possession off the face off. Here they come. They put the puck into the offensive end. Gustafson's moving the puck through his own zone. Gaining momentum along the boards. Here's a chance in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Here's a short pass to Martin. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. And he shuts the door on that. The Rangers will play it in their own end. Takes the feed. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. And that caroms off a body in traffic. Huge steal in his own end. Game management is everything and you have to be aware of exactly what that is. And you can't take risks in a game where you're leading. You have to find a way to protect the lead. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. The Islanders are running out of time to even things up here. They've had plenty of scoring chances, but they trail late in the third. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Romanov. Easily turned aside by Shusterkin. Puck moved over to Miller. With possession along the wall. Centering feed! Oh, and he whiffs on it! Moves it to Horvath. Fires it on net. Here's a shot. Oh, club saving a beauty. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Rangers win the defensive zone faceoff. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Quick feed to Holmstrom. Cuts 
to the front. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Sends the pass over. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Lee's got it on the offensive end. Puts it on net. Oh, what a stop. And mercifully, now just seconds left in this one. Here he is in close. Oh, he makes a stick save, and that went right off the shaft of the stick. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Face-off coming up here in the offensive zone. Well, they'll want to continue with the sustained pressure because the goaltender, he is fatigued. Puck picked up by Ruedel. Gaining momentum up along the side. Loves him with the hit. Ruedel's got it along the wing. Oh, so good was. Oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Tries to feed it over to Trocek. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. win the draw. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Pellet. Now over to Pollock. And that brings an end to this one here this evening. The Rangers seemed overmatched at times, but you know what? They capitalized on their opportunities when they got them, Cheryl. All comes from changing the angle of their shot with the opportunities that they did get, and it was tough the goaltender know exactly where it was going. He did a great job of finding the lane. And time for the fans to get in on the celebration with the stick salute. This is a great tradition, James, as they all sit around in anticipation of this city. A nice thank you to the fan base. Oh, well, bring it into an exciting night of hockey and for all of us here at EA Sports, including Danny, Matt, Natalia, all of the truck. I'm James, you, Cheryl. Good night, everybody. Home of the National Football League, the National Hockey League, the National Basketball Association, and Major League Baseball. You've been watching a Spinal King Sports presentation.